here's how you fix the DJI Mimo app not playing back your footage after you've captured it on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. DJI, hear me out. I'm not pocket watching, I promise. But I think it's safe to assume that y'all make way too much money with all these amazing products that you've been putting out to have an app that does not function properly. Before you ask, the answer is yes. I'm running the latest software on both the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and the DJI Mimo app, and it's not working. So what we're going to do is go into the app. You're gonna go through the motions of your app connecting with your camera. Once you've done that, you're going to go and record something. I'm going to record me recording me. Hello, me. I have the camera in front of me, I have this camera, I got my phone, and a top view on the camera up there on the top. So you can see that I'm recording as you can see that this button changed. That means I'm recording. I'm going to stop recording, then I'm going to push this button here. In a perfect world, the new footage would be right here. I'd be able to click it and then just play back my beautiful face. But in this case, I can't because the app is broken. It's not my phone, it's not T-Mobile, it's the app. So what you're going to do is go, at least on an Apple iPhone, you're gonna swipe down and you're going to turn off your cellular service. Just trust me, it works. So then you're going to go back, exit out of the app, make sure it's closed, nothing else is open. Go back to the app, go through the motions of connecting it again. But now, did you see that? That footage that I just captured of me recording my face is now available. It works. It allows you to capture footage on the Osmo Pocket 3, play it back on a bigger screen so you have a better idea of what your footage is going to look like. But now you can't answer calls, you can't take calls, you can't get text messages, you can't get notifications, you can't get any of that stuff because you've disabled your cellular service. Now, I think you can still Use your phone if you're connected to a Wi-Fi connection, but in the event that you're not, you don't have access to the basic features of your phone because you're trying to mess with your DJI Osmo Pocket 3 in conjunction with the DJI Mimo app. I don't think that should be so. Now, am I being a spoiled brat experiencing first world problems and the world is really not coming to an end? Yes, but is it also reasonable for me to expect an app to work the way that it's supposed to work? Both can be true <laughs> at the same time. In this case, DJI, I think that you should fix this until they do, all my subscribers or viewers of this video, that's how you get around it. If you're experiencing this and you have a different workaround or maybe it is user error, maybe it is T-Mobile, maybe it is the fact that I have the 13 Pro and not the latest and greatest iPhone, maybe it's something that I'm doing wrong. And if that's the case, I'm not too big to admit my mistakes, okay? I will apologize. But until then, this is how I fixed it. This is how you can fix it and move on in your creation journey. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate if you hit the like button, share this with someone who's having this problem, hit subscribe, because I'm gonna keep coming with more content like this, hopefully not calling DJI out, but <laughs> I hope to bring more helpful content to you guys. Um, until then, I'll see you in the next one. If I have to do another take of the same five words, I'm going to freaking do nothing but keep recording, to be honest, but I'm frustrated. <laughs>